mean, I'll tell you, so like just personally, we, I, um, so I'm obviously since as a medical provider, yeah. we get it early. Yeah. And, um, but actually I just had COVID this month. My husband, uh -huh. me, my mom, my dad, because uh -huh. they flew from Chicago. Yeah. And even though we were all vaccinated, I think it was probably the Delta variant. So we were breakthrough cases. Yeah. But the great thing was, even though we got it, uh -huh. everyone was like totally fine. We wouldn't have even known if we had it. We oh. just, because my husband works in the hospital, he had a little bit of a cold. Uh -huh. So we went in to get it checked and then we were all positive. So, oh, okay. but otherwise, because we had the vaccine, it was like nothing having it. So, so the, even though they show like there is breakthrough with the variant, uh -huh. um, the people who are vaccinated, it's like super super mild. 大家好，我是亚当。我现在人位在美国的华盛顿州里面的西雅图。那我们今天呢，就是要来打疫苗。那你今天看到我们今天来到这个 Safeway， 也就是美国的知名大卖场，它里面会有一个叫 Pharmacy 的。你知道有看到这个，或者有看到写 Free COVID-19 Vaccine Here。这边就可以打疫苗。那我们现在先进去看一下吧，走。好啊，那我们进去选。很多人都在说美国人现在都不戴口罩，其实这个不是真的，因为美国他们现在有疫苗了。通说真的，我到这边现在看呢，至少有一半以上人都是还有在戴口罩的。好的，我们现在拿到这个表格，你只要来这边填表格就可以来这边打疫苗了。那我刚刚有征过店家的同意，说，哎，这里可以是可以拍摄的。因为想说这个疫苗的东西，大家都需要打，大大大家都需要认识一下，所以他们完全没有意见的。Okay, so um today you're getting the Pfizer one, um which is an mRNA vaccine. So three weeks from today is the earliest date you can get it. So I wrote that on the back here. Make sure to just bring this card with you. Okay. When you get your second dose, you can get it anywhere. Sure. Um, this just tells them what dose, what vaccine you got, and when you got it. And then there's just a coupon for you. Oh, okay. A coupon for shopping here? Yeah, yeah. Afterwards. Oh, um, okay. Nice. And then after I give you the shot, I'm going to have you wait in this waiting room 15 minutes to make yeah. sure you don't get an allergic reaction. Okay. So that would be if you get like a rash or if trouble breathing or mm -hmm. swelling. Mm -hmm. I have never seen it happen, but we have to have you wait just in case. Okay. You can time that 15 minutes yourself and if you feel okay, you can just walk out. Okay. Okay. And then the first dose is usually pretty mild for side effects. Mm -hmm. You probably get a sore arm and maybe some tiredness. Mm -hmm. You may also get headache, dizziness, fever, and chills, but those are more common with the second dose. And usually Pfizer's not that bad anyway. So just drinking plenty of fluids, resting, and if you need to, you, you can take Tylenol. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Any questions for me about anything? Um, no, actually that's well explained. <laughs> okay, excellent. Do you have any foreigner or non-citizen people coming in to take vaccines? Oh yeah, vaccine? definitely. Yep. Uh, um, usually we just take an ID if they have them. Uh huh. Um, but it's open to anybody who's, you know, oh, okay. 12 years and older. Anybody who's in the age range is okay to get. It's very yeah. welcome. Yeah. And you don't, you guys don't charge, right? No. Nope. So oh, we wow, charge it to the government. The government pays uh -huh. if you don't have insurance. If you do have insurance, we try to charge the insurance for the administration uh -huh. fee because we still have to get paid to give the shot. Okay. But if there's no insurance, then the government just pays for it. So um, there's a rumor say it's going to hurt? Um, it might. It's not as bad as some vaccines. Okay. Um, some people don't even feel it. They're like, is it done yet? So it, it depends. Only one way to find out, huh? Right. <laughs> That's it? That was it, see? Didn't well, that bad, did it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, one to ten, that was like one. Right, right. It, it doesn't hurt that bad. Right. Sometimes if we hit a nerve, then you'll feel it. Uh huh. But I try my best not to hurt people. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, that's so, it. You just wait 15 minutes out in the waiting room. Out there? Yep. All right. Thank you, Ginny, for giving me the vaccine. Yep. I'll see you in 21 days. 21 days, yeah. Awesome. That's Thank you. Good. 现在我们在这边打完了，然后医生建议我在这边待个十五分钟，看看有没有什么想呕吐啊，想要就是任何的副作用。然后医生 Jenny 刚刚跟我讲说，他很少看到有人有这种副作用，所以我们现在这边等个十五分钟，现在两点五十七，我们就等到三点十五好了。好，现在时间三点十五。我们已经等了十五分钟了
，我的手完全没有任何的酸痛，然后也没有呼吸困难，也没有就是身体痒或者什么的。那我想这样应该就是可以走了。好了，那我们就这样就可以先撤喽。然后我们下一季要等七月二十号，就是二十一天以后，我们再回来打。再一次，这个是普通的 pharmacy。或是 Safeway 这种普通的大卖场，这边基本上都可以打疫苗。好了，那我们就二十一天以后见喽。好，现在时间是七月二十号，也就是我们打完 Pfizer 第一季的第二十一天。那我们现在是回来这边同一个地方打我们 Pfizer 第二季，走吧。好，我们现在要去那个 waiting room， 先填一下表格。好了，那跟第一次一样，你来的时候他会给你一个基本的表格做填写。那填写完，我们就等医生进来。那我们进去打针吧。So side effects with the second one, sometimes they're worse than the first. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So headache, fatigue, nausea, fever can last one to two days. Mm -hmm. um, it's because your body kind of recognizes it. That's why the second yeah. time it's it can be worse. So. Okay. Uh, it depends on people, right? Because some of my friends, uh, they got fever after this. Some of my friends are fine. Yeah. It just totally depends. I hope that will be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was like fine. I had a headache after mine, but I was oh, okay. fine otherwise. Okay. Thank you for letting me uh, vlog this. Um, right now, my country, our country, Taiwan, doesn't have any vaccine right now. We rarely get any. We got AZ, but just a little bit. So people are curious, oh, oh what, what does Pfizer do? Does it really help or does it give you any side effects? So that's why I'm uh, vlogging this, spreading awareness. Yeah. Like, if you got a chance, go get a, vi uh, go get a vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you, so like, just personally, we, I, um, so I'm obviously, since I was a medical provider, yeah. we get it early. Yeah. And, um, but actually I just had COVID this month. My husband, uh -huh. me, my mom, my dad, because uh -huh. they flew from Chicago. Yeah. And even though we were all vaccinated, I think it was probably the Delta variant. So we were breakthrough cases. Yeah. But the great thing was, even though we got it, uh -huh. everyone was like totally fine. We wouldn't have even known we had it. We oh. just, because it my doesn't... husband works in the hospital, he had a little bit of a cold. Uh -huh. So we went in to get it checked, and then we were all positive. So, oh, okay. but otherwise, because we had the vaccine, it was like nothing having it. So, so the, even though they show like there is breakthrough with the variant, uh -huh. um, the people who are vaccinated, it's like super, super mild if you catch it. Oh, so you get uh, the, the virus after you get yeah. the, the vaccine. You can. Okay. So, I mean, it's supposed to be, you know, in the 80, 90% that you wouldn't get it at all. Uh -huh. But there is, so in Washington state right now, there's been like 2000 breakthrough cases. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't remember, it's like 7 million people have been vaccinated though, so if you look at the numbers, it's obviously still working great, okay. but I mean the good thing is if you do get it, it's super super mild. Oh, okay, that's so, good to know. Yeah, um, Yeah, but gosh, well I hope they get vaccines soon. I know in um, here, mm -hmm. we just stopped doing Johnson & Johnson, here we go, one, right. two, three, because we're shipping it out to different countries, that's the one dose, Okay. so hopefully other countries can have that wasn't that bad huh that was it yeah i don't know why some people react like super huge <laughs> they are screaming and that doesn't feel like anything super small yeah. yeah super small needle super small amount it's only 0.3 so it's less than a flu shot okay so you're saying if we get fully vaccinated you still got a chance to get there is COVID. still a chance that you mm -hmm. can get covid but the reaction will be super mild. It will be super mild. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good so know. that's why the Delta variant, that's why they're trying to get like everyone vaccinated because yeah, yeah. otherwise it keeps like mutating. Yeah. So um, like my parents visited from Chicago, so they brought it probably from Chicago because they were having more outbreaks because they mm -hmm. had a set of people who were unvaccinated. Mm -hmm. And then they're just, you know, it's mutating and passing along. So are you, are you cured right now? Does yeah, it, yeah that's away? it. Yeah, I was yeah, I was fine. Oh. I had it like June um, June 18th. Uh -huh. So um, they did like a PCR test. So yeah, what they'll yeah, do is yeah. I had like the nasal swab. Yep, yeah, they had a cool. shallow one. <laughs> and so I was positive. And then so once you have the vaccine, they just have you quarantined for 10 days. And some people can still test positive after that, but they're not contagious. Uh -huh. But I had a negative oh, swab wow. already. So. so vaccine really helps. Huh? Yeah.
Yeah. Are we getting um uh, the third dose for the Delta? So I think um I mean I haven't seen I know Pfizer is working on it right now. Yeah. But. It probably if it gets approved, I'm guessing it probably will get approved during flu season. So probably mm-hmm. like October, mm-hmm. November. It, it probably it, it's not going to be too soon. I don't yeah. think. I got a question because uh, yeah. there's rumors saying you can mix the dose. You can take AZ for the first shot and then take Pfizer for the second shot. They say it's better. You know, uh, what is your opinion on that? So right now the <laughs> recommendation is not. Is not. They're not. The only time we mix is I'm pretty sure AstraZeneca is two, it's mm-hmm. two. So if someone in another country gets one, yeah. so they didn't complete the series, yeah. and then they come to the US and we don't have AstraZeneca, they will start over. Uh-huh. So they could get a Pfizer or a Moderna and they would get two shots. But that's the only person at this point, they don't want people mixing. Yeah. Um, I mean, they just don't have data showing it. Yeah. It's just all working on the same like outer protein. It technically, I don't think it would make it, a difference. But I mean, we just don't know, right? It's it's yeah. We don't know for sure. Yeah, but, it's so um, weird. I, it is weird. It's all over internet. It's like oh, you should mix the AZ with the Moderna as a second dose. Yeah. And people are like, oh yeah, it's not a good idea. But they didn't actually got the shot. <laughs> so. Yeah. Right. I mean, I think the risk is. You know, the problem with the AstraZeneca is they have a little bit more, I don't know tons about it, but I think mm-hmm. there's just a higher risk of stroke and like clotting, blood mm-hmm. clotting. Um, so we just don't know. It's the same with the Johnson & Johnson. It has a little bit higher risk of like the blood clotting. Um, so I, I don't know, like if you mix them up, like could it be worse? Could it be better? I'm sure they're like studying it right now, but what I think they're really focusing on right now is just like getting another booster of, I think Pfizer's the mm-hmm. one working on the Delta. Mm-hmm. So just to get another booster. Even if people have the AstraZeneca, if they approve the booster, whatever the booster is, it won't matter what you had to begin with. Oh. You know what I mean? Like if Pfizer approves a booster, people who do have AstraZeneca will probably get boosted with the Pfizer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So you do recommend getting the same shot? Same shot. Same shot. Yep. Me too. (laughs) Um, You don't want to like mess with it. Right. Um, cool. Here's your card. Thank All done. You. So two weeks from today is when you're like totally 100% vaccinated because uh-huh. it takes like two weeks to make all the antibodies. Oh, two weeks. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Cool. So I'll stay here for like 15 minutes. Yeah, mm-hmm. that would be great. Just 15. Make sure you don't have any allergies. All right. Um, if you need anything or mm-hmm. anything seems weird, your throat, you feel uh-huh. funky, just knock on the door. I have the cameras watching, but... Um, what is your experience with people taking second shot of Pfizer? Um, so I've had people come back and report that they just didn't feel well for mm-hmm. 24 hours, but I haven't had anybody have allergic reaction yet. So. Okay, so uh, what do I do if I doesn't feel well? Do I get any... Uh, you could take Tylenol, Tylenol. You can take ibuprofen. Uh-huh. You can take... I know on the internet, some of them were not recommending them. Yeah. We don't want people to take it before the shot. After. And that's because before the shot we used to do studies in kids and if we give uh-huh. them Tylenol before they didn't have good antibodies oh. so but after is totally fine got it yeah all right thank you so much cool. yeah what all is right. your name again oh it's Jennifer Jennifer nice yeah. to meet you nice to meet you too thank you so Good much thank you sounds fun thank you yeah. ah, we're now, we're now the third shot and I was really surprised he told me he had COVID 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 哦, 我刚才整个, 我刚才整个啊<笑> 然后做了几个测试然后到后面就过几个礼拜就痊愈了所以他下次是negative <笑> OK 我们刚打完疫苗了刚好我们在超市里面所以想说顺便来买个东西那刚刚帮我们打疫苗的那位护士呢他是有中过Delta的 
打过疫苗，所以他后面痊愈了。这也可能是我人生离这个病毒最近的一次。那也是祝大家身体健康，然后尽量让这个病毒快点远离我们。好了，那我们这期阿汤，我们下次见喽，拜拜。